All right, guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a rifle I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while now. I had a buddy of mine send it into the channel for me to unbox. Um, this is the Fix, made by Q. Essentially what this is, is a precision bolt action rifle. So over here, you get a couple things in this bag. You get your manual right here. It's a pretty short manual, only eight pages in total. Uh, but over here, you've got your diagram, uh, different safety functions, how to take it down, and basically how to fold the stock, unfold the stock. And on the back here, pretty nice, you get a nice chart of how to torque down the different pieces on the fix itself. And you also get your warranty card right here. And you get one accessory rail. So if you can't tell by now, uh, these are not uh, M-Lock or Key Mod, but Q calls this the Q-Cert. Essentially how this works is on the back of your accessories, or you know, in this case, Picatinny rail, you've got two alignment tabs and those are gonna align with those on the handguard. And then you've also got a T25 Torx fastener that you will attach to the handguard as well. So I really like this. It is uh, it is different, so, you know, as far as finding accessories, the majority of them are only gonna be found on the Q website itself. So also in the box, you're gonna get one 10 round Magpul PMAG. Another nice thing about this rifle is it does use a cheap and widely available magazine. Uh, this, these are essentially AR-10, SR-25 magazines. Let's take a look at the rifle itself. So this is, like I said, just a precision-based bolt action rifle. Very nice in design. Um, Q mentions it on their website, but I'll mention it as well. It's not just another uh, Remington 700 action thrown on a chassis, uh, but this is a fully uh, built, purpose-driven firearm and is 100% made entirely by them in design and function. So let's go ahead and take a look at the end, muzzle end here. You're gonna get the Q Cherry Bomb. They, they include that on most, if not all, of their firearms. Essentially what this is, is it's just a muzzle brake that also is threaded to attach Q suppressors to, and is also tapered uh, to allow uh, it to mate up with Q barrels. And I've got another video discussing the Q Cherry Bomb. Um, I'll try to link that somewhere. Very nice muzzle device, uh, but it also allow you know, not just suppressors being able to attach here, you can also attach the Q whistle tip, which I also discussed in that same video. So the barrel here is a 16 inch barrel chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and the barrel is a one and seven twist and is stainless steel and is also bead blasted, as you can see there in that color. And it's also a lightweight profile. You're gonna have Picatinny spanning all the way across the top. And so this pick rail section up here is all monolithic or just one piece. It's not split when it hits the handguard um, and it is attached to the handguard via the Q-Cert attachment system. So as you can see on the, T on the top there, those T25 Torx screws and may not be able to get it, but it's also got the alignment tabs underneath. And so it, uh, it makes for a very rigid and uh, a platform that will hold a zero regardless if you're you know, bridging over to the handguard. And so here's a good look at the Q-Cert system. You've got your threaded points and your alignment tabs. Basically they look like 
widened M-lock attachment points. And so all your little screws here are colored in that nice, uh, that, that brownish uh, color that they've got on the cherry bomb. Some of them, you got a little bit of bluing. Uh, looks really nice, it's, makes it kind of one of a kind, I guess. So the receiver here is a one piece receiver, meaning there is no chassis, uh, which again uh, brings into the forefront the rigidness and very accurate platform that the fix is. And so here's that folding stock right there. Locks into place very well. And I'll go over more features of the stock in just a moment. I'm gonna go over the different controls. So you've got a short throw bolt lever. It's a 45 degree short throw. Very nice in design. You've got an ambidextrous safety lever and these do accept just your typical AR-15 uh, safety levers. They don't mention it anywhere on the website or in the literature, but I'm pretty certain this is a Radiant Talon safety selector. I could be wrong there, but definitely looks like one and feels like one. So on this side, you've got your mag catch, which also looks like an AR-15 mag catch, but then when you look on the other side, the button definitely does not, but the mag catch de uh, definitely does. Very nice button, super easy to push. Then you've also got a two-stage match trigger. I'll go ahead and show you guys how that looks. Make sure the firearm's clear. We are good to go. So you've got your first stage right there. You hit that wall. Very easy to get there. And super clean break. Very nice. So if you can't tell yet, the bottom also accepts your typical AR-15 style pistol grips. So the one featured here is your Magpul MOEK grip, which is a very thin grip, very nice grip angle. And uh, on the Q website, it doesn't state it. And I'm not sure that all AR-15 grips would fit the, uh, the fix, just because some of them have those uh, pretty pronounced beaver tails in the rear. I would just check, make sure it would fit before you go out spending too much money on one. And so the stock, which by far is probably one of my favorite pieces on the fix itself. It's super adjustable. Um, like I said, it folds like you saw in the beginning there. Um, but yeah, you can adjust it for all different shapes and sizes of people. Uh, it's super easy to, to adjust. So you've got these adjustment screws in the rear right there. And you would basically take your butt pad off and then adjust internally there. So you can adjust it, your recoil pad, adjust your length of pull, and your cheek weld is also fully adjustable. And the way that you do that, you loosen this T25 Torx fastener and move it to your liking, tighten it down again. So one thing I did note, I do wanna note is definitely how difficult it is to uh, get the stock in the folded position. Um, I will attempt to do it on camera, but I won't make any promises that I'll be able to do it. There we go. It's very, very much on there. Uh, the manner that I just did it in is exactly what the instruction manual says. So I guess it, you just gotta do it that way. There we go. All right, I'm gonna make a few videos about this. I'm gonna do a few upgrades, take it to the range, and definitely take some videos for you guys. If you have any questions on the fix itself or any of the accessories you can throw in here, uh, just drop a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching.